Today, we are going to be talking about low-income rentals and more specifically, buying low-income rentals out of state. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to another show. The MLS Search Analysis is here on Holton Wise TV for a second. I thought that was going to say the MLS Search Analysis, but it didn't. That's what that one says. All right, I'm a little backwards. But what we're doing today, guys, we are talking about low-income properties, right? This show, guys, is where I work with you one-on-one, -on -one, right? We do properties uh, that specifically fit certain clients' needs, right? You guys, you order a package, and then uh, I work with you one-on-one. -on -one, and whatever you want, that's what I go out and find, right? So if you're interested in doing that, like my folks DD uh, and Fred today, what you want to do is go ahead and send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll call you, talk you about the talk to you about the process, get you signed up, or you can click the show notes below for more info or to sign up right now. Dee Dee and Fred have already gone through this process, and I feel like we are getting really dialed in here, guys. I feel like uh, we are finding properties uh, that are specifically hitting exactly what you two want to do, right? You guys are trying to get. 20 properties. I like how you guys are doing that, right? You two are married, right? Okay, folks, I love financing, all right? Financing is the biggest reason why buying rental properties makes a lot of sense, right? Where else can you start a business where the bank gives you three-fourths of the money, right? Real estate, that's why I chose real estate. Best financing in the game, okay? Getting properties for the right price is one thing, but getting properties financed the right way is another, right? You can't start other businesses like this, okay? That's what's great. The one thing that kind of sucks about real estate financing is if you're doing residential real estate, it's one to four residential units under one roof, okay? You can only get 10 of these mortgages per person. But Dee Dee and Fred, they're smart. They're married. However, Dee Dee's going to get 10 properties. Fred's going to get 10 properties. Well, I'm assuming someone's going to get 10. The other person's going to get nine because they, of course, own their own home, and that's one mortgage, right? So, well, I guess it's in both their names. So I guess both you guys probably do like nine each, right? So nine, nine, which is 18. And then you both have your single family home, right? That's probably how that'll shake out, right? But six to one, half dozen the other. The moral of the story is you guys are splitting it up, right? Fred's putting properties in his name, Dee Dee, you're doing it in your name. Super smart. And you guys are really interested in single family homes, lower cost single family homes, these low income single family homes where Section 8 tenants make the most sense, right? That's it's a great strategy. I love that strategy. I love this neighborhood. Uh, this one right here, 3193 West 61st, Cleveland 44102. Just hit the market last week. Nine days on the market. Price at 799. This is beautiful, guys. I think you're going to love this. Uh, because, again, we're super dialed in. Like, the properties that I've sent you, you guys have loved. We've made offers. Uh, we've been going back and forth with some sellers on a few of these. And you know what? The sellers, you know, they drew their line in the sand. You guys drew your line in the sand. And that's how it's supposed to be, right? Of course, I would love all the sellers uh, to accept the offers we're giving them. But that's just not realistic. That's why we do the multi-packs. And you got to understand, folks, if you're trying to invest in real estate, you're going to have to do due diligence and put out offers on a lot more properties than you're actually going to buy, right? Unless you want to overpay, right? That's why people work with me because I will shoot it to you guys straight. I will tell you what I think you should pay, right? Dee Dee and Fred, a couple times you guys were like, hey, do you think this makes sense to pay more than this? If so, we'll do it. And, and, and that's why you guys work with me, right? That's why I have repeat clients because I'm like, ah, no, I say we look at another property. I don't think you should go above that, right? And we may run into that situation here we may not i don't know but that's why we continue to do this and i'm actually going to film another video for you guys right after this one too but this one i love based on everything that you guys have been interested in i know you guys are going to love this right just a solid everything done for us low income single family house right this 
is going to be perfect for a Section 8 tenant. Totally turnkey ready, right? You don't have to do anything, right? You can even see on the appliances, they still got the, uh, the plastic wrapping from the store, right? Beautiful backsplash. Like, this is just a nice property. The mechanicals are all newer, right? Roofs, hot water tank, furnaces. Like, this thing is totally done for us, right? You guys don't have to do anything other than just have us uh, run, run it through our leasing team and get us a Section 8 tenant, right? This thing is looking good. But I don't want you guys to pay $79.9. I don't think $79.9 is going to be the right price. Now, the right price, in my opinion, is going to be $65,000. For that $65,000, what you're going to get is a $900 a month Section 8 tenant, right? So $900 a month or $10,800 a year is scheduled to come in, leaving you guys with an NOI estimate of approximately $6,072 a year. That would make this a 9.3 cap. It only requires 16 and a quarter of your cash the other forty eight thousand and three quarters will get from a bank which by the way everybody else out there if you guys need uh lender referrals we got those sales at holtonwise.com send us an email we'll get you our list of lenders for free right so if you guys put down 16 and a quarter bank loans you the other 48 and three corners that's going to be a projection of a 22.2 percent cash on cash return for a fully renovated Section 8 rental property, right? You got to go Section 8 in a neighborhood like this, folks. You got to go Section 8 when you're dealing with low-income rentals, right? This is a, a D-grade neighborhood. Now, it is my favorite D-grade neighborhood in the Cleveland market because it's very close to Metro Health, which is getting a billion-dollar investment injection, right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Not only are they doing their own campus, they're they're investing a lot of that money in some uh, affordable housing in the surrounding neighborhood, right? So this is going to benefit from that greatly. That's one thing. But the other thing is Section 8, guys. We have to do Section 8, right? Because when you're in one of these low-income neighborhoods, right, the biggest risk to these neighborhoods is the tenants not being able to pay rent. Right now, it's, you know, the end of 2020, we're still dealing with coronavirus, right? You know, people are losing their jobs, right? When you're in, like, a lower-income neighborhood, right, you're not dealing with people that are doctors or engineers, right? Your tenant base, like, you know, the service industry, that's getting hit pretty hard right now, okay? Service industry wor workers, where you guys think they live, right? They don't, you know, they're not living in the same neighborhoods doctors and uh, nurses and stuff are, right? These are the kind of neighborhoods they're living in, right? So the people that are the most vulnerable uh, to not being able to make rent, right, are going to be in neighborhoods like this. So we go with the Section 8 program. It eliminates a lot of the issues, right? You you know, you miss out on your rent payment, okay? Uh, during normal circumstances, you can't pay rent, you get evicted, and then once you're evicted, the property's empty. Then other thieves, you know, copper thieves, right? They see the house is empty, they go in, they steal the copper, they scrap that for drug money. Uh, these new appliances we saw, they'll steal those things, right? All, all kinds of bad stuff. Then you got to spend money renovating it and leasing fees, blah, 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 right? As you can see, like, the house, it all starts, all the bad stuff, it starts when somebody can't make rent, right? But when we go to Section 8 program, well, guess who's paying that rent? The United States government, and guess what? They are not missing any rent payments, right? So when you go with these neighborhoods, guys, Section 8 is, in my opinion, the cheat code, right? So if anybody was wondering, like, why is this property not worth the 80K? In my opinion, it's because the neighborhood, right? There's a you know, risk factor, and even though it's a very beautiful, nice property, you still have to pick a price that's going to be appropriate with neighboring comps. It's still got to appraise, right? That's the other thing. When people invest out of state, especially in these low-income neighborhoods, a lot of you guys are investing from areas that are like, uh, really wealthy, and ha and the housing market's totally different. Like Dee Dee and Fred, right? You guys are from California, right? You guys might be like, holy crap, 80K? That's so cheap. We don't have any $80,000 houses in our area. Let's buy it, right? Well, that's how people lose money. That's how people get hurt, right? Because, yeah, this seems cheap to you with your out-of-state eyes, but you know what? If you compare it to the other properties, you got to see that maybe 80K is actually a little bit too much money, right? So that's why working with us is good. I will shoot it to you guys straight. I, I, I tell you guys what I think the appropriate prices are, number one. Number two, 
I encourage you to use that financing. I talked earlier how much I love financing. Well, the great thing about financing is the bank brings in an appraiser. The bank's putting up three times more money than you guys are. So who's really at risk? You or the bank? The bank. The bank's bringing the appraiser to cover their butt. Bank ain't going to let you lose their money, right? So we got two things here. Uh, my opinion of value and then the appraiser's opinion of value. Two things here to protect you guys uh, from losing money, right? Because even if something crazy happens with the tenant, a piece of real estate has value. If you don't overpay for that asset, uh, it's going to be really hard to, in the grand scheme of things, lose money, right? So, Didi and Fred, I love this one. I think you guys are going to love it too. Reply to the private email as I sent you guys this video privately. Everybody else, if you want to work with me in the same way Didi and Fred are, again, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll get started. And Didi and Fred, I got another one that I want to show you, which I'm going to do right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.